Hello YouTube students, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at a parallel lines and transversal problem involving algebra. So we have in the diagram below, line N intersects a pair of parallel lines L and M. If the measure of angle A is 10x minus 20 degrees and the measure of angle C is 6x plus 40 degrees, find the measure of angle A, angle B, and angle C. So for this problem, we're going to utilize the alternate interior angles theorem, which states when we have a pair of parallel lines, in this case L and M, cut by the transversal line N, then alternate interior angles are congruent. And the alternate interior angles are located in this intersection here. So this is the interior section of this diagram. And the alternate interior angles, we could find they're on alternating sides of the transversal line, but the easy way to identify them is to draw in a Z. And when we draw in this Z shape, which angles are highlighted? In this case, the angles highlighted are angle A and angle C. So we have the measure of angle A equals the measure of angle C, based on this alternate interior angles theorem. So now, to solve this problem, the measure of angle A is 10x minus 20 degrees. But for now I'm going to leave the degrees out because we're solving for the variable x. And we have angle C is equal to 6x plus 40 degrees. So now our goal is to solve for x. So we have, we could minus 6x from both sides. The 6x's will cancel out. We have 10x minus 6x is 4x. So now we have 4x minus 20 equals 40. We can add 20 to both sides. So now these the minus 20 plus 20 will cancel. We have 4x equals 60. And now to solve for x, all we need to do now is divide by 4. So we have x equals 15. But we need to be careful because x equals 15 is not the measure of our angle. We need to plug in x equals 15 into this expression here, 10x minus 20. So we have the measure of angle A, the measure of angle A equals 10x minus 20. So we need to evaluate this for x equals 15. So we have the measure of angle A equals 10 times 15 minus 20. So now we simplify we have 10 times 15 is 150, so 150 minus 20. And keep in mind, the measure of angle A, now we can put this in degrees, because we're measuring in degrees. So now, the measure of angle A, 150 minus 20 is 130. So we have, the measure of angle A is 130 degrees. So now we could run x equals 15, through this expression here, but we should get 130 degrees for angle C as well because they're alternate interior angles and we already stated that the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle C based on this theorem. But we'll do this anyway. So we have the measure of angle C equals 6x plus 40 degrees. But now we set x equals 15. So we have the measure of angle C equals 6 times 15 plus 40 degrees. We're substituting x equals 15. So now we simplify and we have the measure of angle C equals 6 times 15 is 90. So we have 90 plus 40 degrees. And now the last step is just to add 90 and 40 and this gives us the measure of angle C equals 130 degrees. We don't need parentheses anymore. So 130 degrees. And now the last step is to find the measure of angle B. And to find the measure of angle B, we're going to use the uh, Euclidean postulate. The measure of a straight angle is 180 degrees. And observe that angle A and angle B form a straight line. So we have the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B equals 180 degrees. Because these two angles form a straight line, so when we sum the angle measures together, 
it should equal 180 degrees. So now we just found the measure of angle A to be equal to 130. So we can substitute. We have 130 degrees plus the measure of angle B equals 180 degrees. So now we subtract 130 degrees from both sides. The 130 degrees minus 130 degrees cancels and we have the measure of angle B equals 180 degrees minus 130 degrees is 50 degrees. So our solutions, we have the measure of angle A is 130 degrees, the measure of angle B is 50 degrees, and the measure of angle C is 130 degrees. Okay, well this is going to conclude this parallel lines and transversal problem. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.